Okay, fellas. Title of today's video is Think Outside the Box. Learn to see big picture and think outside the box. Nothing to do with politics. I was sitting here thinking, hmm, how could I also market myself? Like when I get on the road and I start traveling. And I know about offline marketing. And I'm actually putting together a package I'm going to sell to other personal trainers. As I build my own class offline, I'm documenting what I'm doing, uh, how I create my flyers. I, I recorded my sales pitch to get the flyers in the place. So basically, all the trainers got to do, or fitness instructor, or whatever business, is got to do is just download my package and plug it in. I was, you can look over my shows, I do everything. So that's thinking outside the box. You know, I got this problem. Um, I, I want to trade out for for my time at a studio. Also, it occurred to me this morning, well, damn, as I, I was recalling that I know how to put my my website, you know, on page one. I know how to put videos on page one. I know how to do Facebook marketing. In fact, I've been meeting with one of my offline clients, my personal training clients, uh, to teach her how to do Facebook marketing. She has products that she's actually, she's an artist. And there's a site where you can actually put your artwork on clothes. You upload the image and it does it for you. Like, wow. It's incredible. Anyway, she wants to do some Facebook marketing. Great. Um, so I'm realizing I've got all these skills. Also, um, one way I'm going to build my class is going out giving lectures. Um, free lectures for uh, people in the vanity niche like hairdressers, nail salons, you know, like uh, the Brazil. I renamed my program. The over 30 thing just didn't work. You live and learn. I renamed it to the uh, the Brazilian butt lift workout. Chris Arden is a Brazilian butt lift workout, but basically it says the Brazilian butt lift workout because that catches their eye and attention. Women who are interested in that type of, of environment. Uh, case in point, I was at a um, salon of someone that I actually used to train and she was making a comment, did I have the tapes? And I said, no, I'm actually doing my own, my own version of that, which is actually better than their version anyway, because I'm a better trainer. Anyways, uh, so I'm thinking, I got all these skills, and I'm gonna be on, I want to be on the road. I want to travel. I just did a video warning African Americans you know, that after, if Trump loses, we have to be careful for a year. If Trump wins, uh, only political thing, we have to be very careful for you know for a while. We don't go to certain areas. The, we we are careful now. So enough of that. So anyways, um, I got all these skills. I want to get on the road. I can arrange my travel by going to work for a gym for sixty days to help market them. I can go to the hair salons, the areas. I can market my lectures, and then if you want, you know, get these benefits come to this guy's studio and train. I could bring him along and he could pass out flyers for my lectures. That way I can start marketing my lectures, also get the benefit of getting people into my online programs. Brain is exploding, fellas. That's when you know you start thinking outside the box, you become more creative. And that's what I'm trying to get you, you worker guys, you guys, you know, the 99.9% .9 of you guys who, um, you know, you, you get a paycheck. You don't work for yourself. Not going to put you down. Uh, it's a choice. So even within your own job, as I said many years ago, you could become, instead of an entrepreneur, an intrapreneur. And that's a fellow that creates his own, his own company within a company, his own project within a company. Management loves that kind of stuff. You work for a large organization. Look for ways that you can benefit the organization. By the way, if you work for a paycheck, that means you provide a certain set of skills. That's what you're paid for. You're providing a service. By the way, you can market those same skills in other industries, also the same industry. You do actually have value. Okay, They're paying X amount for those skills. You have experience at it. Think about if you've been there for 10 years doing the same skills. Not if you work for the government. Even the government, you can still transfer over and still create government projects, by the way. But... Within companies, you can you can market those skills to outside the company. You can become in some some situations you can become an independent or a consultant. Uh, case in point, one of my clients used to be a VP of Colliers, 
Collier's is a Canuck company, Canadian company. Just got into a beef, or not a beef, but a little discussion with uh, books. I cut most of it out. Actually, I went into the, you know, you're in, you're in Canada. Why? Anyway, uh, I, cut, I cut out this asked to get my message. Okay, so um, he wants to retire. He actually um, is not with that company anymore, and he went to another company. Okay, so he wants to actually retire because his wife just retired. One of my clients, uh, the one that had cancer, uh, she retired from work and she's 69 he just turned 69 in really good shape uh, the guy used to call Sergeant Rock yeah so he's thinking about you know, okay I'll retire and just do consulting work you can do the same thing in certain situations okay now if you're in a subway you could cr let me give you an example because I've always been like this I was 21 years of age. There used to be a company, I, I think it's still around, they're called Short Stop, mostly on the West Coast there. Stop and rob places where, you know, get gas, you get groceries, uh, like an AMPM, if you know what AMPM is, or a 7-Eleven. Uh, okay, so I was hired as a manager there. And every morning people would come in, buy gas, and they also deliver cinnamon rolls. So... I did a little crayon, you know, colored sign that said uh, hot cinnamon rolls and coffee. And I put it up. I sold out every morning. That's what I'm talking about, being more creative. You could do that if you worked at Subway. If you see a, an idea, like maybe try a new sandwich out or try a different marketing ploy to get people to buy more. People buy Subway out. But that's just one example. I want you guys to expand your minds. So many of you guys are stuck in the dirt, scratching with worms, and you don't look up to see. I've learned that, now the political thing, during this election. You've seen the issues I've dealt with, with the, the Trumper mentality. So, I want you guys to drop your fear and learn to think outside the box and become more creative. That's a right brain activity. I know meant the majority of you are more left brain. That's why you're on the internet. But that very thing that's your, your actual talent is what's hurting you in life. We can access the other side of the brain. You can actually, if you're more left brain, you can actually access your right brain for creativity. Okay? If you're right brain, you can access your left side for more understanding of logics, uh, communication, uh, language structure. Unfortunately, as you saw mine, I'm like, what, 28%? Think about what I was, I was much higher in school, but I never learned what a predicate noun is. I don't remember. I fell asleep during that time period. But give me the math, I, I can go right through it. So I did use my left brain. So combine the two. Learn to become a more effective human being. And emphasis is on human being. So, back to me. What can I do to travel? I can go to a gym, as I said, I can do your Facebook marketing, I can do speeches for you, I can do this, do this, this, at different gyms at different stops along my route. All I got to do is call ahead and say, hey, I'm going to be in town, uh, I'm a traveling marketer, uh, I can come out and work for you, do this, 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 uh, give free lectures at your own gym as well. Get That way I occupy my day hours. When you're traveling, you know, a lot of times people... They're bored during the daytime. They're sitting there waiting, waiting, you know, I, they don't have anything to do. Whereas I can go set myself up in my little campsite, drive in the town, start doing lectures, for, and spend like 30 days getting to know different places, and then travel to the next place. That's one option. Think. Use your brains, fellas.